fellow cinephysians, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Real movie review. Today is my segment I like to call What on Netflix where I tell you what is on Netflix that maybe you've never heard of or maybe has a low rating. Today I am reviewing the new Netflix series The Crown. I'm not sure if you guys have seen any advertisements for this. I've seen it on the rare occasions that I actually watch TV and I am an Anglophile. I have loved anything British and anything that has to do with England for as long as I can remember. It started when I got into British pop music back in the day when I was probably in like middle school, maybe even when the Spice Girls came around and I've just never let my love of England go. I actually studied there for a month. I lived in Surbiton, which is a suburb of London, and I had a great old time. And I like history. I'm a big history buff. Um, you can see I have some old movie books here. I love the history of old Hollywood. And then to over here, I have a lot of history books, mostly art history, and uh, I just, I really just like learning history, and British history is one of my favorites. And of course, like anybody, I kind of like learning about the royal family. Uh, I say kind of because I feel like such a gossip, and I really feel bad for them when I see them all over the tabloids. I don't read the tabloids, I don't, you know, go obsessing over them. I, I feel bad. I, I am one person who kind of respects their want for privacy, and I don't really care for their personal lives too much, and I don't really care what you know, rumors go around about them. I, I don't look into that. I look into the, like, the family's history, um, like, the current Queen Elizabeth. Uh, she's been ruling for over 60 years now. Um, I'm interested in what happened for her line, her family, coming into the position that she's in, that what made her queen. And that is what the story of the crown is. It starts off with how her father, Queen Elizabeth's father, King George VI, died. He died, he was only 56 years old, but he smoked like a chimney, he drank a lot, and he actually had one lung removed, which I didn't know before this, and he, he died, and it was, really sad. I think it's sad. 56 isn't that old today, but um, it just shows you, you know, what her father went through. He is the king in the king's speech and, you know, how the family, his family, King George himself was not meant to be king. It was supposed to be his brother, King Edward VIII, um, but he famously abdicated the throne for a divorced American woman named Wallace Simpson. And the crown goes back and forth in the stories telling you about like moments with her father, moments with her uncle, um, what her uncle did. I mean, we see Edward and or David, his real name is David. Um, that's what he was known as. Um, and him and Wallace come back and how that relationship affects Elizabeth even to the time when she was coronated queen. It's just, the whole thing is very, very interesting. It's an interesting story to see because she was a woman and, you know, how people treated her and how they wanted to keep things from her because they thought she was fragile or couldn't take it and, you know, she, and it was actually incredible how much say she has in British politics. I don't know if she still has it or, or if she never really had that much, but every day she's brought a box and she's informed of what is going on in the world, what is going on in Parliament, their actions, whatever is going on. And also to see like the struggles within her family, she, country has to come first. Family is like a very distant second. The country, what is good for the country has to come first. So like things with her sister Margaret, Princess Margaret, she in this series it tells about how she wanted to marry a divorced man and he was English. He had worked for her father and 
Margaret really loved him, but she had to wait and she, until she was 25 to make her own decisions and about marriage because if she wanted to get married to someone before, it had to go through parliament. Like, that's how crazy, you know, this British system of marriage was is i don't know if that has changed i'm not that much of an anglophile i don't go into politics like you know it was really sad to see that because princess margaret again this whole family wasn't expected to come into this royal situation they were not meant to be the royal family it was supposed to be king edward the eighth not king george the sixth it wasn't ever meant to be that family. Elizabeth, like, she was never meant to be queen. We probably would just know her as a little bit of a side note. You know, we'd see her occasionally come up. We would never know William and Harry and, and Kate and, you know, like that. They were not supposed to be where they are. And that's just, it's very sad to think about that, you know, like, this whole family just from one person's decision they came into the spotlight. It was also kind of sad and also frustrating to see how much Prince Philip wanted to be in the spotlight. It was very hard for him as a man at that time to take a back seat to his wife because traditionally you know men were supposed to be the breadwinners. They were supposed to be in the spotlight. They were the ones that were supposed to be in control of things and he wasn't. He couldn't because country had to come first and Elizabeth was the, and is the queen she can't always put their family first which is a shame um, she couldn't always put Philip first and he got really annoyed with that he thought he could try and change that with Elizabeth and, and he just he couldn't so I went on rambling about the real royal family not so much about this netflix version of the royal family but i will say that the series is excellently made very very well acted very well filmed uh, my only complaint uh slash not complaint which is gonna be weird is that they focused on too many external forces in Elizabeth's story. I feel like they don't focus that much on her. I was expecting m to see Elizabeth a little bit more than she was in it. I And here's where I kind of can complain about that. I understand why they had to tell these external stories because they always come back to Elizabeth. They always come back full circle to her. So there's a lot of stories with Winston Churchill and I just, I feel like, I mean, it was necessary, but it wasn't necessary. I just really, really would have rather have been the focus more on Elizabeth and, and her in this time and what she was going through rather than have it go off. Like there was an episode where they talked about this portrait of Winston Churchill that had been painted for uh, his 80th birthday or some kind of big birthday and he didn't like it and I'm like why does this have such a prominent place in this series like they could have just talked about it a little bit they didn't have to go into like almost an entire episode for this painting I really really wish it had focused a little bit more on Elizabeth and her family and just the things and just her really just more of her I, like I said I understand that everything always comes full circle back to her but I feel like the stories didn't need to be that big and that involved but besides my complaint absolutely watch the crown it is so worth watching it was very very well done and uh, I really hope you guys go watch it I hope it piques your interest in maybe looking into learning about King Edward learning about Wallace Simpson learning about King George VI learning about Queen Elizabeth you know just learning about them scholarly not so much as like a gossip like that's how I kind of feel when I read biographies in general even though I have a whole bunch over here and on this other bookshelf but you know go look into the family in a scholarly historical way so that was my review slash rambling of the crown I hope you like this review and if you did like it please give it a thumbs up if you have seen the crown leave your comments down below let's discuss some of the stories let's discuss anything you want about you know like the royal family keep it nice though if we're talking about the real royal family not the Netflix version um, 
anything any episode you liked let me know and if you have any comments on what i should watch on netflix next or any other type of movies that are not on netflix uh, leave them in the comments as well and if i pick your movie and i watch it and i review it i will give you a shout out and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future what's on netflix and other let's get real movie reviews because that is what i like to do here and as always keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous